Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Rob the Geocache and Muggle here. Uh, you got three more days to enter the giveaway. Just go to yougotafriendinpa.com, submit your answers, win a prize. Hopefully we'll see uh, a lot of new names in there and the old names too. Thank you for watching. Welcome everyone to a GeoSense challenge. Today, you got a friend in PA, Luke and Maggie. We're gonna go find him one of the geocaches that I already filmed that you've seen recently in the snow. He's lucky. He doesn't have to dig through snow to find it. And then, if you all remember back a few videos, there was a video where we did smiley face, frowny face, or none that had the wood piled up like a little like shelter. We're going back to avenge that DNF. Hopefully uh, the muggle might be able to join us, but if not, we're still going to avenge the DNF because uh, I can't have that frowny face on my map. And then while we're here, Luke and his daughter have two more caches way out on this trail towards the other side. We're going to bring you that today, too. So let's go out, have some fun, walk some trails, and enjoy a beautiful start to spring. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Ground zero awaits. Oh, okay. right there. And now think back to the video that we shot. <laughs> I don't remember it that well. Well, I'll give you a hint. Ground zero takes you over here in between these two yeah, trees. That's what's pointing me is over there. You want to probably go a little bit more this way. Trust me, it should not be hard this time of this time of year. You see it already? Yeah. yeah. Maggie, do you see it? Look in the tree. Yep. See if you see it. You should see it right away. Yeah. All right. Somebody else must have found it since you found it because it's not covered up very well. No. Well, uh, we had snow that covered it, so. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> Shoot, what's the best way to beat this? Ah, there we go. Last video, you can barely even see that. There was a bottom down here. That's right, yeah. I, don't I had to dig in for it. Same container though. I'm surprised something this bright and pink. Oh. Hmm. Hide it good. There you go. Do what others should have done. See? You might not be that skilled, and you might not get out much, but you know how to be evil for the next hider. No, or okay. the next people to come out and find. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ooh. one down. Okay. Got your first smiley. Woohoo! Look familiar? On that video. I was on this side. The muggle was on that side. And we went that way. Just like we're going to do today. But this time, that frowny is going to be made of smiley. Well, folks, here we are. Ground zero. Today's cash container is a small one and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. This is hidden somewhere right here. Take a look at your three locations, and we'll be back for the elimination. Location number one. Come down the trail from parking. Turn over here. Look at the shelter. Now, where would you look first? Well, of course, we made it number one. We're going in. Come down. Look under. And do you see number one way back there? You see the pile of logs? Well, 
Come on in. You try not to knock it down while you're crawling in because you're a big guy. You move the pile. And there you have your geocache. Could location number one be the correct geocache location? Let's show you two more before we get to the illumination. All right, we come down the trail from parking like we did before. You come over here to the shelter. Location number two this time. We already know where number one is, but now number two, did we find this hiding up here? Could location number two be the correct geocache location? Let's show you three before we make that decision. Location number three. One more time. Come down the trail from parking. One more time. Turn over towards the shelter. One more time. Walk on in. Walk around the back. You're going to skip one. You're going to skip two. And you're going to come right over here to number three. Down behind where you can't see it from the inside. Right down in here. Could location number three be the correct geocache location? Now, we get to play around and eliminate. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time. You've seen the container. You know the size, the difficulty, the terrain. You know the three spots that we're playing with. Is it in one? Is it in two? Is it in three? Or... Is it none of the above? Zero. Now, beautiful shelter. Much different looking without snow. Much easier to find without snow. Although we did give it a very, very, very good try when me and the muggle were here. This time was more of a, <laughs> really? <laughs> it was that hard with snow? So, snow really, really ups the difficulty when it's on the ground. Because today, we'd be out of here already if I wasn't filming. So now, you had some time. You got to see the locations. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. And will one of you love to get rid of a location? Um, I'm going to get rid of... I'm getting rid of two. Two, like two is out of there. I agree. Two is the easiest one. It's it's on top. We kind of, yeah, we staged it. Okay, we staged it. Too easy. A little harder. Kind of. I mean, it's going to be a lot harder when we leave than <laughs> what it was. I'm not sure if the previous cashier is just like, no, I'm done with it and kind of tossed it back. Or if the cash owner actually did it. But you know what? When we leave, it's going to be a two difficulty instead of a one and a half. Now, would you like to get rid of a location? Would you like to get rid of one, three, or zero? I'll get rid of three. Three? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and three was the good one. Three was the very good one. So now you have to ask yourself, did they really find it? in location number one, where every kid who comes here is going to go? Or did they find it somewhere else? Because who's going to hide a geocache down there where every kid who comes here is going to go? Well, folks, before I tell you, jump on over to YouGotAFriendInPA.com for all the information that you need for every month's GeoSense Challenge giveaway. Right there on the home screen, click the button for that month's giveaway, and you can be entered if you take the challenge you can enter one of three well not enter you could win one of three prizes that's what we're doing this year one winner choice of three and now back to what we were doing what do you think one or zero one or zero hmm. is it where every kid's gonna find it when they come and play or was it actually hidden somewhere smarter well, folks, if you pick zero, I couldn't tell you how much you are wrong. It is actually number one. Yes. 
on the cash page, you read the description, you read the hint, it tells you where to look. Yeah. Without snow, not a hard find at all. With snow, good luck. Well, we're going to put this back, and we're going to head out. We're going to go down a trail over here to another section of this uh, wonderful wildlife sanctuary, and we're going to help Luke get two more geocaches here. I don't remember this one. So it's in a pine tree. No? But if I was going to hide a cache around here, yeah. I'd put it in a pine tree. I wouldn't have it on the ground. We found the replacement since 2016. <laughs> There's the one you signed years ago. Yep, there, so it has to be the right one. Yeah, this is... So maybe when I signed it, the bison tube was gone too? Maybe. Because there's a photo of a bison tube, and it's not a bison tube. I don't tube. want to try to pull that apart to see. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay, this is 5-9-17 was the last time this newer log was... Put out. Or first time it was put out. Yeah, so it was a year after I'd been here almost. So I was here 6-10-16. But we found, it looks like a pill bottle, or a, one of those uh, candy bottles. Doesn't quite it's look a, like a pill the bottle. Lid look, where do I put the lid? It's like a pop-off lid, right? Yeah. What, oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's like a pop-off lid. So it's not really like a pill bottle type. It's something different than a normal pill bottle. And you have a beautiful pine tree here. There is a view from the pine tree. But this was found in lots and lots of sticker bushes right down here. So if you come out to find this one, be careful if it's summertime. I'm sure the difficulty makes a lot more sense in the summer. And, Probably. And the snow. Oh, well, and <laughs> I can't imagine trying to find this in the snow. It'd be a five difficulty. Heck yeah. So no. No, I'll just put it right back where it was. Cover her up. Ho, 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 hey. Bison tube right behind you. Look under the log. Oh my god. Boom! We found the original. I found the original. Yeah, you did. I found the original. Oh, oh yeah. That's going to be mush. There's the one you signed. That's I think. the one I signed. Yeah, that's the one I signed that is no longer signable. Dude. Wow. Well done, Scott. Yeah, we're just going to have to hide the bison tube next to it. You <laughs> oh my god. What? You made it you it's made a it a three difficulty. now. <laughs> it's a three now. It's a three difficulty. But what is the chances of finding a yeah, replacement? That's crazy. And then finding the original that is right there. Crazy. Wow. Can't wait to log that one. That's going to be neat. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-log this too. All right, folks. Yeah, you technically found it. I, I found think it. we're going to head off to another one. Last cache of this area. One that I had found once already. Years ago. Many, many moons ago. Luke made a fine. After all, it's a good thing. He's the one who needs the smiley. I don't. Luke started dumping the water out. Oh, there's still some more. So this container is not waterproof. Everything inside is junk. Mush. I mean, there's yeah. not even a point to even attempt. So we are just going to put this back together throw well he took a picture of the inside too so he can prove how how bad it actually is to the cash owner and then uh luke's gonna do the right thing he's gonna make a found it log that's gonna state that the contents were full or uh, swimming in water he dumped the water out but has no way of drying he is also that's oh, our day he is also then going to write a separate needs maintenance log 
So the cash owner can actually see that he needs to come out rather than just rely on him looking at somebody's log of found it for information. Because maybe, maybe cash owners don't always read what people write. They just want to know if they found it or not. I'm one of those I like to read, but all I usually get is TFTC. So I don't have too much to read. Look, well, you want to show the fine people of the world who are watching where you found it at? Do I have to? Why not? All right. After all. So it was shut. No. Yeah, it would be nice in there, right? So it was sitting It was in there, though. It was, well, you're going to kind of have to go around me, but up in this nice little cubby all hole. All the way up in there. So the way up in, up in there. there. Nice. Sorry. So let's. Let's take you in sideways. Oh yeah. There you go. Now you got to see where it was. Tucked in this rotten tree. All right, everyone. We brought you a walk up that Luke needed that I recently filmed. Then we avenged a DNF, gave you a GeoSense challenge. And then we threw in two more that I found years that Luke ago. needed. Yeah, years ago. I found them way back in 2016. So, I brought those to you also. I know this video is very long, so we're going to keep this very short. Thank you for watching. Finally, spring is here. Warmer weather. Eventually, we can get rid of our sweatshirts. And we can actually start sweating to geocaching. Because uh, I got a lot of hikes and a lot of long ones playing. We're going to be doing them in the summer. Well, folks, happy trails, happy caching. Go get a smiley. See ya.